that's the way of it. This is the village of Wapiti tribe. The Wapiti Indians are a tribe of Native Americans who roamed the heartlands of New Hanover. They are skilled hunters and rely heavily on the buffalo for their livelihood, but also hunt elk, deer, and other game for food and clothing. This is Tala, a skilled hunter, renowned for his bravery and agility. One day, he helped his friend prepare a meal for their people. While they were cooking, his friend told him that a white buffalo was spotted near the village. Tala has never seen a white buffalo before, but he knew from the stories of his ancestors that it was a sacred animal, a symbol of great power and good fortune. He felt a strong urge to go and see it for himself. He was so excited he stumbled over the fireplace. But that didn't affect the story. Despite his friend's warnings, Tala set out on horseback alone towards the place where the white buffalo had been sighted. As he peacefully rode through the grasslands, he soon came across a bridge. He stopped there, thinking he saw something in the distance. Without wasting a moment, he took out his binoculars and peered through the lenses, confirming that it was indeed a white buffalo in the distance. The sight took his breath away and he knew that this was a rare and sacred moment. Overwhelmed by curiosity, he dismounted from his horse and ventured closer to the white buffalo, determined to observe the magnificent creature up close. As he approached, he noticed that the animal was calm and did not seem threatened by his presence. As he focused his binoculars on the white buffalo, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his back that knocked him off his feet. He quickly realized that he was being attacked by a group of black horses who seemed to have come out of nowhere. The man scrambled to his feet, but he was immediately knocked down again by another kick from one of the horses. Panicked and in pain, the man looked around for a way to escape. He saw a nearby tree and ran towards it, hoping to climb it and evade the horses. However, the horses were too fast and they quickly surrounded him, blocking his path. The man was trapped and he knew that he had to come up with a plan if he wanted to survive. Desperate, Tala remembered an old legend passed down from his ancestors. It spoke of a great eagle who could control the wind and soar through the sky. Drawing upon his inner strength, Tala called upon the spirit of the eagle and began to run in a zigzag pattern, making it harder for the horse to predict his movements. Tala looks back, hoping he lost the horses, but they were still after him. Stopping and looking back proved to be a mistake, as the horses quickly closed in on him with powerful kicks. Laying down in all that pain, he somehow finds the strength to stand up and continue the run for his life. Running as fast as he possibly could, with all his injuries, Tala tries to figure out his next move. In a desperate attempt to save his life, his heart raced as he realized that the horses were closing in on him, pushing him closer and closer to the edge of the cliff. He knew that he had to act quickly, so he gathered all his strength and leaped forward, narrowly avoiding the horse's hooves by mere inches. His heart raced as he plummeted through the air, unsure if he would survive the fall. Tala survived the jump from the great waterfall cliff, and in all that adrenaline, swam to the shore. He took out his binoculars and saw that the enemy horses were still there, looking down at him. However, he only smiled bravely at them, because he knew he was the only one who had jumped from that majestic cliff. From that day on, he was called Eagle Flies.